once you die from that. Nice! Nice! Let's get, the, let's get the guy as well. Woohoo! Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today we're going to the Tilia mid guide in which I specifically play flex and not solo queue because I want to discuss the Ludens versus Lyandris versus Everfrost. Well, I would well, I wouldn't even talk about Everfrost really because <laughs> you know Everfrost is quite shite right now. But let's go quickly through some runes. I started with Corrupting because I'm against the Hammerdinger. I have armor because I thought I was against Irelia because you can easily swap these. And I'd rather have armor against Hammerdinger than Magic Resist versus Irelia. So yeah. I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Lentus Hunter, Prince of Mind, Cup the Grace, and these rune stats. You can definitely play with Electrocute, you can definitely play with Ravenous. And let's talk items. Now, besides the first items, you go generally for... Besides the first item, which is either Ring or Corrupting, you pick your poison. Uh, and the first mythic, you generally go for Sork Shoes. You go for something like Zonia. Where is it? I can't see it. Uh, somewhere here, but I'm blind. There. And then you go for something like Rabadons and something like uh, maybe Void Stuff or Morello if they have heals. Or you can go even Banshees instead of Zonia. But Zonia would be good in this whatever this comp is. Anyway, I started corrupting because Hamer has some insane push power and I sort of want to match it. But I also know that... Oh no, I'm having I'm having drops. What is this? Frame drops? I'm missing CS. I also know that if I go ring, I will eventually run out of mana. Why? What did they do to leaks? in this patch that is so badly optimized i'm not sure anyway let's let's ignore that let's focus straight on the discussion what first item to pick against whom generally uh, now uh, that you've seen the last uh, the last patch uh, ludens had from 10 to 6 reduced um, magic pan so basically they reduced that and increased the ability haste and Next patch, I see on PB that there is already a uh, a buff to Ludens, 10 AP to Ludens. So yeah, that's interesting. How do you lose? How do you lose Xerat against Xerat early on? Whoops, I'm gonna get poked here. I just want to talk right now. Please leave me alone. Oh my god, I'm farming like crap. All right. So basically. On Ludens, you get now 6 magic pen, you get the active, which is some damage, and I see the Pantheon. And you get... Uh, I'm gonna miss that. Alright. No! Why? He had no barrier. That was a wasted flash and we would have reached him. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna get this wave, then I'm gonna recall... Then we're gonna talk. And everything else seems to be losing. Alright, so I'm just gonna drop a recall here. So. Uh, gonna talk about the items later. I mean, I have no kills, but I guess that works. So! Everfrost versus Ludens versus Lyandris. I really enjoy Ludens. I enjoyed Ludens, and I'm gonna go for Ludens just for the sake of the argument. I enjoyed Ludens when he had when it had the movement speed high. Right now, it's 15% movement speed. I really don't like the low burst that it offers. It's nice that it offers magic penetration to other items, but I don't really feel like it that much. Also, they reduce the magic pen. They do give ability haste, but I think I can get away better generally with. Uh, with uh, Lyandris. And in these patches, you're gonna get a lot of tanks. Man, I'm getting pulled. Good thing I went for crafting. In these patches, you're gonna get a lot of tank matchups, a lot of uh, Mumus, a lot of Malphites, a lot of Volley Bears, as you can see. I should try to. Oh, oh, oh. that was so close. He has a lot of movement speed near the tourist, though. I think that's why he easily dodges, but I want to w check him normally right now i would say 
if you go for ever frosted stroll why am i getting fault so much if you go for ever frosted stroll and then you have a choice between burst of landry's and the actual the burst of ludens and the actual uh, what are you doing man <laughs> please kill him q okay e good fight but you're gonna die oh oh god damn it boots and could have got the vision war, but it's fine i got the volibear again i like to take these trades because i have dark harvest and dark harvest means a lot of uh, more stacks a lot of more fighting but i want to to put your landry's onto this place so we can talk about it better Le let's go so basically when going landry's you get uh, as you can see five ability haste per item so you basically at three items you get 15 and basically at three items with ludens you get 15 magic band it's the same uh, it's the same uh, percentage the same number sorry for those and if you like if you like having magic pen i guess that's fine if you like having a lot of magic pen i guess that's fine but generally i prefer the landris because it gives percentage as well so this is not only you you get 15 percent of burning which is Early on it's much better than, and um, well, mid to late is better, but uh, in the general cons in the general sense of the game, I believe... I could jump here with a note. Okay. There we go. You only should have patting, should be patting to mid at this point. Yeah. So while I do would agree with Ludens, I would agree a lot with Ludens, I think it's just in a bad spot. Because I know Burst is right, but considering how many Nunus you see per game, because you see a lot, and until champions like Nunu get nerfed, I don't think Ludens is actually the choice. I don't think actually Ludens is the choice, because look, even if in this game you got Rel, you got Volibear, already playing with ludens will mean that you have to go through these champions and i'm gonna showcase you that if you are not horrendously fed you can't really deal real damage with ludens to these champions you will probably need liandris for the percentage burn which will help you greatly in killing them also i'm going back to mid uh, i'm gonna miss that but at least getting this got the level up there it's cool that with Q's you can actually destroy Hermitinger's towers all right so you can you can get rid of them and you can actually do something meaningful after that so nice I don't care about sort of losing CS onto the pff, regen path having dark harvest in the long run uh, the, it's corrupting potion Jesus in the long run it's a bit better than having a ring because uh, yeah ring might help you early against some assassins but generally against mages oh i'm bad you could flash you could you have flash why you not why i won't got why i won't ask so i really like the mid game utility even the early utility but the first recall utility i like the most from the corrupting that's uh, that's one plus if you were talking that and also I really like most Lyandris right now, uh, but I'm still I'm still going for uh, that. I hate your movement speed, man. I hate it with every single second. Why is my bot 0, 20? <laughs> not 20, but you get the point. I like the fact that I'm not getting gang though. I, well, I hope I didn't jinx that by speaking right now. Alright, let's try here a combo. Could have been better. And as you can see, I'm trying, I'm trying to constantly keep track of these, uh, wait, of these corrupting stacks. I'm trying to move around the map whenever possible. I think I could do here an ult, proper ult into proper combo. Real nice. That was a, the, the ultimate, that was an ultimate into 
a W combo and I'm gonna ping that, you should be careful. That was a real, a real nice combo there. I'm, I'm sort of proud of that. And I don't think it's Xerath's fault to be honest, because I'm not sure he could have done anything to escape. Yeah, so Heimerlinger is still around. I'm still, I'm still pushing this. Right, I'm gonna miss that. Okay, and let's, good. let's recall. I have flash. I'm fine. I also have uh, the Ludens right now. Did some pretty nice ganks onto the bot. Five kill participation already. First, second in the game after Pantheon. But the guy on top is really going at it. It's really bad though to play Yone or Yasuo top because it's so easy to abuse these champions and this happens. Look, you are 40 CS behind, you are two levels behind. You aren't really doing great, man. I'm gonna cast that, throw that. And yeah. I'm gonna put the word here. It's it's a vision word down there. Wait, we're going what we're going what? Get on the rail. But man, you got killed by the freaking rail. What is Volibear even? Uh, I'm getting shot by the tower. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. Where is on top, far away from us. Zerat is dead. I need to get rid of that vision world as well. But I want to push this. Okay, I will get rid of it later. I want to recall first, but Samira died too well. They're useless. I mean, that shouldn't have happened. All right. So back here, not gonna get another vision world. I mean, this guy is getting destroyed by the golems. <laughs> So into the context of which item to pick generally, I believe I enjoy Landry most and Ludens is coming up close but I would like more movement speed if you want to create that or at least let the 10 magic pen. What's even the point of gutting it like that? I can go bot now, again. Go, 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 go. I mean, yeah, I'm alive, I'm alive, that was, honestly, that was bad, but I kind of hope my, my ADC deals, my ADC doesn't deal damage, why is my ADC having her ult up, why are you having your ult up, and, and that champion is annoying, I think he got, I think this guy doesn't know how to play Samira, honestly, Also, Pantheon could have got the kill there while I was playing with Lord Drinker. Wow. My man is running from a volley bear. Apparently, if I don't instantly kill the Xerath, the rail is going to eat me alive. So, that is that. I guess that is that. Yeah, right. Let's just back off here. Let's just play pro properly. Okay. Got the got the combo onto that. Okay. Mm. Got the shutdown. Shutdown? Really? Got the shutdown, but I thought I would still I would still live. I guess it's fine. Let's go for a stopwatch so we live next time, but I still got stunned. That'd have been impossible. But at least AP Volibear, okay. Just stop fighting bot for Christ's sake. Wait for Pantheon. It's gonna do it for you. The champion is quite enjoyable now, though. The pandemic, but he's gonna get, he's gonna get a lot of uh, nerfs of changes or something. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, what changes could you do to Everfrost to actually make it decent? Maybe make it into a sort of a battle item with extra HP, extra. 06 man. It's 
like you're not even trying. And now... I'm coming. I'm far away, but I'm coming. My oh, man, Pantheon going 1 versus 100. there but my man threw a surrender and score is basically in our favor what goes on to the bot just the area he the score would be heavily in our favor he wouldn't exist so <laughs> but yeah pantheon seems to be extremely strong seems to be one versus lining i missed the cannon i need to go and shut down the area but but there is the drake which we could definitely help also the new buff buffs feels pretty great towards the mid tulia as well so i'm moving here i'm waiting for the volley bear why is he recalling do it do it i'm gonna get rid of whoever comes here for ah uh, never mind So here he comes. Ah. Yeah, I'm bad. I don't think you can possibly actually CC. Alright. Your best ability to dodge this. Holy Alright. A bit too much feed on him. <laughs> okay, get this, get this, get this. What are you doing? Zero eight. I'm forced the score is two twenty two to twenty one. Get stolen, right? Going here, gonna push this uh, back off. I would honestly help him on top, but we win if he just stay under tower. I think he got dived because of his uh, cockiness. Likely, that's what Yone players do. Likely, because <laughs> this the Yasuo mentality that I have a power spike at 0 20, I can still look how fast I can solo this camp. It's beautiful, really. I don't think Pant has any other uh, any other camps. Yeah, that's fun. Can you like not get one shotted? I think I blocked my Pantheon with that. Jesus. Irela coming in. I missed that. Phantom is gonna die. Does he die from that? Nice! Nice! as well let's get the volley bear as well we're not stopping here i'm still by vision world i'm right on the vision world uh, i know where the vision volley bear is oh. fight me oh he's gonna jump with that he's running away not running away from me not running away from me Ah, I did a quadra kill there. I'm not sure what's happening with the Irelia. But I'm playing my game. I'm level 14 already. I'm playing my game here. 
Wait, does that mean we have power? It could. I want to go to that bash, but I want to be sure that no one is even, you know, here. Okay, doesn't matter. Look at that speed. Alright. Good, we got the rail. I'm gonna recall. I have the vision word there. Wait. Nah, it's fine. Okay, we can definitely go for more bursts now. The Look, this is the example in which Ludens actually shined through. Because the movement speed and the burst allowed me to create some unique situations, to be honest. Because you don't get kills with the Ludens proc every single time. But in general, in general, it doesn't happen. I'm an idiot. I don't know why. This guy just died. that Q Rio's ability but yeah Ludens did help me so this is an example where Ludens helped for example in with Le Leandris Leandris I may have not dealt that kind of burst there I may have not been so mobile but then again it's just 15 movement speed and that proc I kind of hate it because it's just so low uh, are they doing are they doing better Zerat is dealing a lot of damage, by the way. I can't go there. Can't go there because... Because three... Why? Why are three of my teammates on bot? Trolling each other. I can't even go Baron. Okay, we have an ultimate. I can't do anything to that, I can zone ya, but I'm dead. You can definitely kill Seraph though, come on. Do you get to cast the ult? Do you know how to do that? Congrats! Why are you returning to the fight? Why are you back in the fight? Why are you going through it? Ah! Oh no! She's healing them with her damage. We're not surrendering even though Ione died towards the Heimerdinger, I mean if Xerath is why? Why is my support doing this? I'm not I'm not getting this game. I'm very confused about this game even though I basically did 1 versus 4. I can't do a 1 versus 9. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I played bad that times too but I really can't do 1 versus 9. And I'm the same level as Irelia, that's good factor for something, but Irelia can still get me without uh, Lyandris. With Lyandris and proper kiting, she could probably, but Ludens does provide you the movement speed that does not provide the damage to deal on a bruiser. That's why on top I always play with, uh, with the Lyandris. Why are you running it down? 0-11 by the way. And again, Pantheon doesn't scale really, so that is that. I think I can recall now to get my Rapidons. And why are we doing this? Oh! I mean, you should use the E if you want to get anywhere. That's just sad. I would help you, but yeah. Nah. Okay, one more round down by the top laner. One more int by the Samira. <laughs> Do we have that? I'm not giving up on. Did he just got one shot it or what? Look. There's nothing. Look, look. <laughs> I can't. That's tragic from every single point. I could have zoned it, but I would have set myself up for that there. Yone died in a Heimerdinger. <laughs> and they had word here. Yeah, Pantheon still doesn't scale regardless of what he does. It's not a cane to be able to jump like this into them. 
my Morgana has ever frost. Yeah, 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 okay. I guess if he went for the standard build, he could have done something, but not with Gordon Kerr. I'm still not giving up. Still not giving up on this. I can, I can do stuff. I, I'm tempted to ult in. Ult in. Flash. Yep, yep, we're, we're ulting it. We're ulting it. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> he has it so simple. So telegraphed with the ult. Oh. Give up. No chance. I should have jumped the moment I seen the E. Or flashed. But the Hammerdinger would stun me. Should I press yes? It really will beat them 1 versus 3 here. I... Yeah, never mind, no. Or? Yeah, she is. This Panther no longer has damage. I think she should. She has no ult. Yep. Should I press yes or we take our chances? We take our chance, we press no. Why did I move it? Take our chance. We're doing this. We're winning this. <laughs> the blind fate. Someone pressed no. Yone has the power spike of 0 20. Don't, don't. It's a 5 level difference. He just made level 13. <laughs> it's a 5 level difference on top. <laughs> oh no. And I have 4 items. He really has almost 5 items. Samira has 2. <laughs> I don't even talk about the Morgana because I know supports get no gold, but. Yone has to. And I can no longer. Because. See, this is the point where. I can't do stuff because uh, Volibear started amassing this HP against me specifically and so I can't even though I went for Ludens I can't really do anything with it so just uh, we've been spotted got them plants come on dance dance This is another spot where I could probably. Ah. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> he mistimed. I could ult in. Uh... What? I'm tired. I'm tilted. I'm tired. <laughs> we should have surrendered. <laughs> Even Volibear, who started 0-4, has 12 kills now. This is sad. So yeah, besides the play that I just that I did with Lyandris, I don't think the item is worth its gold, honestly. Everfrost is F tier. Lutens might be in some context S tier, but Lyandris is definitely S tier, even after they changed it in past patch, not in this one. But yeah, we're still playing it seems. Morgana gets two shotted. Two Qs. If Samira gets close to Xerat, she won't have enough damage to actually kill him. This guy is just flexing on us. I need I need I want to jump on him just, just for the sake of it. They are trying it. No, we're not surrendering. We're trying. I'm that kind of guy. Okay. He used his bloody stun, I mean. He has freaking nothing. A thousand freaking shutdown. Baron is... Yeah, that means... Baron is up. He's dead. Because they are doing it. They are certainly doing it. A thousand gold for Xerath, really? He has nine death. I'm... Oh! I need to play... An S tier champion just to see how it feels. I have no ult. Pantheon is gonna likely die here. I, know all of I want to go deep and surprise the. What? Really? Wow! And now Ira is gonna murder you all? So, or what? Yep, likely. Because you only abandoned. <laughs> you only abandoned the Pantheon. Look also at the level difference, because uh, Volibear farmed a lot. Yeah, he's pinging Yone, not me. At this point, it, 
think I do have damage to at least damage Aurelia to half, but she has Sterax. Yeah, I'm not allowed to go close to this. If I go close to this, I'm just gonna get instantly whipped. I'm gonna put the word here though. I'm gonna try to see if she comes, but nah. They aren't doing Baron for some reason. They are mechanically decent players, pretty good from bot especially, but I'm not sure why. How is this fair? Half HP cube. Jesus. At this point he should have played the Dark Harvest to be honest. Oliver is just hunting at this point. I want... Should I sell this? Yep, I'm selling this. I'm going for anti-heals. Yeah, because Irelia will... Irelia will Irelia. Why aren't they here? Why is Volibear... Man. It's like they want to risk losing. That's what you do when you just loot around the map till Samira gets at least three items. I'm gonna eventually lose to that. Shall I wait here? Shall I wait here? I don't think they had words. I'm just gonna get destroyed there. If Hammerdinger appears, I think he will try to come. I don't think they have words here. Yep, here is Hammerdinger. I think he'll want to push this wave. But stop, stop fighting, stop fighting. Just let me do. Let me pick someone, please. Come on, Hammer. Where are you going? I mean, my man engaged. Okay. Sonia, can you kill her before? Ah, yeah, never mind. No, they don't. We don't have damage. If I kill the Xerat by suiciding like this, Irelia kills us all. If I kill the Irelia, Xerat kills us all. There is. A lose-lose situation for me because I'm the only one who deals damage in this context. Yone doesn't 0 13, 2 12, 2 11. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of game. So that's the best, the best I could do in this game. I think I also dealt most damage because I thought Pantheon or Samira or Yone dealt more. But ah, I guess the discussion stands. I think Landry is best in slot right now. After that, it's Ludens. And yeah, that was a pretty, pretty challenging game, which we didn't win. But I want you to see games in which I also play bad sometimes. I did some fails, I jumped into Xerath for no reason. But it's fine, we're gonna learn from it and we're gonna do better. I, this this wasn't winnable in any in any shape or form, unless, unless I started going top 24-7 and somehow Yone would become useful and actually Pantheon dealt much more damage than me because again if I, I don't play with Landris and you can see that test it test 10 games with Landris test 10 games with Ludens you're gonna see that your overall damage will be bigger I'm 100% sure that your overall damage will always be bigger with Landris because it's so simple to always proc it Ludens has a cooldown Landris does not that's why anyway I'm Dramat and I really hope you enjoyed this barely sufficient mid gameplay but the mid fight the mid game fight was actually fun <laughs> yeah see you next time guys have a wonderful weekend ahead goodbye